हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू पार्ट 232 ऑफ एडवांस इकोनॉमिक सीरीज इन लारावल 8 सो वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू वर्किंग ऑन द जीएसटी चार्जेस एंड इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन दैट वी एबल टू ऐड द जीएसटी फ्रॉम द एडमिन पैनल फॉर एवरी प्रोडक्ट वी कैन एबल टू ऐड द जीएसटी एंड फॉर फ्यू प्रोडक्ट्स वी एबल टू ऐड द जीएसटी एज द 10% जीएसटी फॉर थ्री ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट्स ओके बाय डिफॉल्ट इट्स जीरो uh, but we can update the DST from every brand for every product. Okay, so now uh, we have already added one product in last video. Now we want to add the DST for this product. So we will itemize calculate the DST. So we are required to open the checkout function here. I can close this one. So we will open the products controller now at the front end. In last video we have uh, up updated the at the admin, and now we are going to work on front. So we will open the press content uh, controller located in the front folder okay so here now uh, we are going to open the checkout function and in checkout function we are going to calculate the gst for all the products in uh, for each loop here in item here we are going to calculate the gst okay so here we can see the total price is there and after that uh, we are going to calculate one more thing here uh, we are going to calculate product total price okay product total price and that we are going to pick this one because for gst we want the product total price like this now what we are going to do we are going to calculate the gst here uh, i'm going to mark it like this calculate uh, gst uh for product over or for item okay so here what we are going to do first of all we will get the dst percentage get gst percent okay how much it is so we will get it from the product uh, model and we are going to select product underscore gst and here we are going to check from where id uh, uh, where id is a dollar item id okay fine dollar item id so uh, this one uh, we are required to uh, check the GST percentage okay we will use the first here and after that we are first of all going to print this one that whether uh, this one is coming or not product underscore GST okay so first of all we are going to check whether the gst is 10 percent is coming uh, there is some issue check once what is wrong here mm, we had item dollar item uh, okay so here uh, we are required product underscore id okay because we want to check the uh, C here now it is coming 10 okay so we have added the 10 GST for this product okay so um, uh, see you can also check the product ID for which product ID we are calculating the GST and here you can check it out once and here we need to debug see this is the product ID 1 and for product ID 1 our GST we can check here uh, what is the GST for the first product this is the first product and the, you can see the GST for this product is 10 so it is fine so now uh, we have the GST percentage and now uh, we want to calculate the GST amount okay uh, so uh, what we are going to do we are going to add the GST uh, uh, like uh, we are going to add like GST percent okay now it's it that much now after that we are going to calculate GST amount 
PST amount. Okay, and for this one, what we are going to do? We are going to uh, first of all, this is the break total price, and uh, we are going to add the GST. So uh, see, we are going to first calculate the GST. GST percent we are having. So here dollar GST percent. Divide by 100 okay and uh, so we are also around of this one otherwise it will show in too much decimal points so we will just want it in uh, two decimal point okay so let's see how much GST amount for this particular product okay GST amount die and let's see it must be around 45 and you can see it is fine okay so now we have the GST amount for every product okay so uh, but uh, we want to uh, calculate the total GST so one uh, variable we are going to take here total GST equal to zero and we are going to sum up here okay here we are going to take it total GST And here again total GST plus GST amount and that is for the every product okay GST amount now this total GST we are going to pass uh, to our checkout page and there we are going to show the GST price okay so here we are going to show the gst price after shipping charges we are going to show gst charges here gst charges and here we are already calculating the gst there in checkout uh, page and here we are going to show this gst okay now check here refresh and you can see we able to have the GST here rupees 45 okay and that is the 10 percent of this 450 okay so this one we need to add it in grand total so what we are going to do total price here uh, grand total is uh, we want to add this uh, GST amount to the grand total amount okay so what we are going to do we are going to do the plus dollar gs total gst and here we are going to refresh it and you can see the 495 is coming and if we are going to select uh, that uh, delivery address okay so then uh, see then here we want to add the gst to the 550 amount okay so uh, here we are going to see that we have to update and also we are required to update this total gst here uh here after shipping charges we are going to add it we are going to show it here as well total gst we are going to show like this and you can see here we have added rupees 45 here also this one minus coupon discount minus zero plus shipping charges plus 45 plus 45 is plus shipping uh, that GST charges okay so if we are going to select this one then uh, see here uh, here we need to add uh, the correct GST here and also remove this class it is not required here okay so here you can see 450 plus 45 that is 495 but after selecting the delivery address here it is not coming correct 450 plus 100 that is 550 plus 45 that must be 595 so we need to check where is our shipping charges where uh, we have used the ajax and jquery i'm going to check it here shipping charges and uh, it must be somewhere in front is here it is okay so 
here also we are required to uh, check for the GST charges okay so what we can do here we will uh, calculate here like GST underscore charges okay and uh, here also this class we are going to use uh, here with this one GST underscore charges okay so this GST charges we are going to use here GST charges here we have to pick here in jQuery like this and uh, here also so we are going to sum up this GST charges here in jQuery as well charges now check once and it seems to be fine now we can refresh here and if we were going to select this one and some issue is coming here we are going to check why it is not calculating and here see in jQuery these things do happen a lot GST charges once that undefined so GST charge is not coming correctly here uh, we are going to check the address ID here mm. here it is and here also we are required to pass in the same way uh, rest shipping charges uh, here we are required to see that how we are calculating this one uh, delivery addresses mm, after that shipping charges address shipping charges okay uh, so we are required to see the checkout function here uh, here uh, we must uh, send this one in delivery charge here you can see the shipping charges we are already sending here so in the same way uh, we are required to send the GST charges okay so GST charges we are also calculating here you can see the total GST so this total GST uh, we will uh, pass here in delivery addresses uh, like GST underscore charges here like this and this the total GST we are going to pass and this GST charges uh, we are going to use here okay so i'm going to copy this one complete i'm going to copy and we'll paste one more and here i am going to use the gst charges and then we are going to check whether it's working fine or not gst charges okay so now we're going to refresh once again see i'm going to select the address here now 45 is coming correctly and here you can see the 595 so we able to update with jquery as well and now you can see if we are not going to select the address then it means that uh, uh, we can't see the shipping charges because we are required to uh, select the address and if you are trying to place the order then see it will ask you to please select the address so you need to select the delivery address so once you will select the delivery address then it is going to add both 100 rupees for the shipping charges and also 45 rupees for the GST charges and here you can see the total is rupees 595 and that is correct 450 plus 100 that is 550 plus 45 and that is 595 okay so we able to do our calculations in jQuery as well okay so like this okay so uh, you are just required to select this one and now uh, we can able to place the order here and uh, for that uh, one thing we need to do here we are required to uh, just update the uh, orders table here uh, here we are required to update the orders table and in orders table uh, we will add one column and uh, we are going to add that uh, uh, GST charges column okay like shipping charges 
after this one we are going to add gst charges okay after shipping charges we are going to add the gst charges gst underscore charges you can add with migration as well and here we are going to add in float okay in order so that we can able to save the gst here in our orders table okay so so we are going to check the uh, post method now we are going to work in the post method of the checkout function where we are uh, placing the order okay in post method here we need to calculate uh, uh, where we can calculate grand total here it is so we will also add the gsc charges that we are calculating uh, see uh, plus shipping charges then plus uh, total gst okay we are having in total gst this one okay this one we are already having and uh, rest everything seems to be fine and after shipping charges we will here add the gst charges this one now it's fine now we can uh, place the order we are ready to place the order so i'm going to select this one and see uh, 595 rupees place order and see place select payment method also okay so refresh and make sure that we have the uh, in the pin codes one for one double zero one okay so make sure to add this pin code otherwise it will not allow you to place the order now it will allow you to place the order so i have just added the pin code uh, in uh, the uh, the availability in the cod pin codes okay so now we able to play the cod pin code here and place order uh, okay so some issue is coming gst charges uh, okay sorry this total gst will come up here okay instead of gst charges now it must be fine send and here it will take few seconds as it's also sending the email send and now see order has been placed we are going to check now here we are going to check in orders table in admin we have not done anything so far so in orders table you can see the gst charge is coming fine 45 rupees gst charges okay so that is fine so in next video we are going to show the gst in admin in order details in front okay and we are going to place uh, multiple items we are going to show gst for the multiple items as well so uh, please stay tuned for the next video that's all for now have a nice time goodbye